Governor Greg Gianforte visited Pine Hills Correctional Facility in Miles City recently to sign Senate Bill 344 into law and take a tour. The bill's sponsor, Senator Kenneth Bogner, was also on hand to mark the occasion. Common sense bill uh, to ensure that taxpayer dollars are getting used well and we can expand your mission here as we work to help people get back on their feet and self-sufficient through the correction system. Senate Bill 344 allows young adult males to be held at Pine Hills along with juvenile males. Due to the youth justice system's success in reducing the juvenile male prison population in Montana over the past several years, areas in the facility were not being used. The department repurposed those unused portions of the campus in 2016 to house young adult males. This maximizes uh, taxpayer resources while also protecting and prioritizing our youth uh, that, are, that are incarcerated. DOC Deputy Director Cynthia Wolken praised Pine Hill staff for its dedication and creativity in transitioning the facility from a solely juvenile facility to one that serves both populations. We're so grateful to have him here to celebrate you, the team at Pine Hills. This is really about you and all of the amazing things you guys have been doing here. Uh, first with the juveniles to help reduce the um, rate of juvenile incarceration, which is amazing. Um, and then working with Superintendent Ray to, uh, as the governor said, get creative, think outside the box. How can we use this beautiful facility with these dedicated staff in a way that meets taxpayer expectations? And you guys have knocked it out of the park. Um, and we're so excited to be here today to just celebrate something that it's not just the words on a sign, it's, you know, reaffirming all of the awesome things that you guys have been doing. So it's a really exciting day.